Seven and three, Evan and Bauer are doing what kids do best. Airplanes crashing and tiny cars skidding back and forth. And like any siblings, what the older one is doing is way better. Bauer is much more interested in Evan's plane that's about to go down. And being the center of attention is pretty fun too. Evan Fisher is well aware this story is about her. Um, I'm going into acting camp because they're really cool. By all accounts, the Fishers are a normal family, but it didn't start out that way. In 2004, when Tamara was 20 weeks pregnant with Evan, doctors noticed something was wrong with the baby's heart. Tamara says there were six defects, three of them rare. And from that moment, and onwards, I was probably having an ultrasound every week. And as the fetus grew and the heart became clear, it was pretty evident to them that it was a non-functioning heart. Soon after, doctors realized they couldn't fix it. They tried to keep her alive with open heart surgery, but that wasn't working. The day before we got the call, I remember sitting by her bedside and just, you know, whatever you need to do. Because I felt like I was asking a lot of her to hang in and to wait, because I mean, to see her, she was so sick and so, you know, a baby. Um, and I said, whatever you need to do, you know, I'm okay with. Fortunately, a heart was found, and at five weeks, Evan got the gift of life. And for any parent who has faced such a dire situation, life simply comes to a halt. There isn't anything more important than being with your child. Oh no, I'm out of control. So the David Foster Foundation stepped in to help Tamara and her family paying for accommodation, clothes, bills, food, pretty much everything while they were in Toronto for seven months and that support is ongoing. It was nice to have the foundation that was just so willing and not like, can I borrow some money? It was, you know, you're doing what needs to be done. They allowed me to focus on taking care of myself, taking care of Evan. More than 500 families have been helped by the David Foster Foundation over the last 25 years. And it all started when Victoria native and Grammy-winning producer David Foster was asked to help a young BC girl who was in Los Angeles. She was waiting for an organ transplant, and all she wanted was to see her sister. And so David thought for the price of an airline ticket, and in those days, 25 years ago, it was maybe $100, $150 or something like that, he could make all her dreams come true. So from that point, David walked out of UCLA Medical Center and said, this is going to be my foundation. Mike Ravenhill has been with the foundation for 20 years and has seen families stay together because of the financial and emotional assistance. But the foundation is also out to get more people talking about the importance of organ donation and to educate and dispel some of the myths. We have so many people today that are on the waiting list that are actually dying because they can't get an organ. Yet in our daily lives, People are dying every day that could actually save a life or improve a life. And so we're talking about, you know, the opportunity to leave a life legacy. But in BC, just 18% of us are registered organ donors, and you have to be officially registered. The sticker on your driver's license doesn't cut it anymore. It really comes down to individual choice. And that's really what it is. It's a choice that you have to make to say, do I want to sign my registered organ donor card or do I want to become a registered organ donor? Uh, for someday I could save somebody's life. And, and quite frankly, it could even be, you know, somebody saving yours. But helping all these families comes with a price tag. And that's where David Foster comes in. His big miracle concert here at the Save on Foods Memorial Center is the big fundraiser for the foundation. It will be a Vegas-style show with plenty of star power and tickets go on sale next month. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.